And look at that. Didn't even have to try for this guy. Wasn't even out looking for mushrooms. Just right next to a path. What a tree do we got here? Red oak, it looks like. I can't tell if it's really growing in it, from it, or just near it. Yeah, it looks pretty healthy. More back there. I'm gonna take some in situ photos. All sorts of pill bugs in there. It looks like it does have like a stem separate from the tree. So many pill bugs. Hear me, look at that. Holy cow. I'm trying to tell if it's coming from the tree or if it's just growing next to the tree. Sorry if the audio is bad, I'm wearing a mask, given the state of the world. Yeah, look at that. Hey. Holy cow, pill bug. Very many, but it's definitely coming out of the tree, right there. Before I actually get up and walk around with this, I'm just gonna find a spot on it that doesn't look super important and just give it a nice pinch. Both sides and uh, we'll see if that uh, bruises any color as we walk. Alright, so I decided to bring it inside because I was able to scrape most of the bugs off. Um, but I'm going to cut it up a little bit. I've already taken some photos of it intact. First thing I'm going to do is to remove the stem. It's pretty tough. Not that bad at the top, but I'm going to try and cut it in the middle. Very tough, but with the serrated parts of the knife it does cut fairly easily. It's a lovely orange color. It reminds me of a pumpkin. Especially this part. It reminds me of the stem of a pumpkin. All right, now I think I'm gonna try and identify it. Uh, generally, I start with the Audubon book, as it seems to be a good jumping off point to at least get an idea of a few species that it could be. And it's well organized to find an unknown. I think that this one is Omphalitis alludidens, or the jack-o'-lantern. Specifically, the form of it found in more of the Eastern United States. There's some debate as to whether they are all one species or whether they are a, a different species. Now, this is one of the harder identifications that I've had to do out of the past few that I've done. There are a couple different fungi that I thought this one could be, but I'm going with the jack-o'-lantern uh, for a couple different reasons. One is that it is indeed an orange color, as some chanteliers and other mushrooms are more of a yellowish color, and more so it has kind of real substantial gills Whereas on some of the mushrooms that look more like this one, uh, those gills are not as pronounced or they are false gills. I also found it growing in a cluster, whereas others are more solitary growing. And this cluster was specifically growing near a, an oak tree. Every identification source I looked at for jack-o'-lanterns specified that they often grow from oak trees, which is what I found it on now. Several of the reports state that fresh samples will glow in the dark. Dang it. They're not glowing. I was really hoping they'd glow. Other things kind of contest this. From my looking into this, I think that it is possible. I just don't think that it happens in every specimen. Did not happen for mine, and I just harvested it and put it in the dark. But it seems like others have observed this phenomena but I think it's most definitely not a required trait for identification. The jack-o'-lantern fungus is in fact toxic to humans, so that's good to note. 
uh, specifically since it is often mistaken for a chandelier. It is a good fungus to be able to identify. If it's ingested by humans, it often causes uh, a few hours to a few days of um, kind of gastrointestinal distress, cramps, nausea, vomiting. Uh, yeah, not a fun time. Uh, looking into a little bit further, it seems that the chemicals responsible for this toxic effect are called alludidins. Seems to go along with the scientific name. They they seem to be a toxin specific to the jack-o'-lantern and similar fungus. All right, so I think that wraps this up. I am fairly certain that this fungus that I found is the jack-o'-lantern mushroom. Um, it was bright orange, it has pronounced gills, and it was found growing next to or on an oak tree, which seemed to be pretty distinct signs that it is the fungi in question. I hope that you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, I have several of other ones up on my channel for different fungi, and I'm planning to have quite a few more coming up in the next few months. If you did like it, if you're not already, please subscribe or like the video. Also, if you have any uh, comments about the mushroom or the editing or the video production, I would love to hear that in the comment, sec comment section. I'm always looking for feedback. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.